Hi, we get a lot of questions on the best way to household uh, your clients. And uh, there are two options we support. One is actually um, um, standard Salesforce functionality called relationship groups. Uh, and it, it, has, it has its advantages. And then the other way is, is straight householding, which we've built. Um, let me show you the both and, and give you, show you both and give you the pros and cons of both. Um, we have some clients that, that use both. Uh, so let's get into it. First, let me, let me show you relationship groups. Over here, we have a relationship group set up for John Glavy. The John Glavy household, I should say. And here you, you, can, you can see that you can add members. We have John Glavy, Kathy Glavy, Mike Jones. And Mike Jones is their attorney, so he's not included in the roll-up. Um, by roll-up, I mean uh, you, can, you can group. That's why they call it relationship groups. You can group activities. Bank accounts, here's two that belong to John, one that belongs to Kathy. You know, for example, if I go into John Glavy's account, I can click right into his individual account, and you can see he has two bank accounts. And if I go back to the, to the relationship group, you can see there's moving on to his bank accounts. And then here's Kathy Glavy, she has one as well. So it's a good way of, of grouping all the different records together um, in a re for relationships. Um, the disadvantage here is you can't, you notice you're not seeing any totals. I mean, I don't, this is great. We have all John and Kathy's financial accounts here, and here's all their current values by account. Can't total it. Um, and it's the other disadvantage, it's almost impossible to build reports on relationship groups. So although this is great, you can see everything on screen, um, that's pretty much all you get. Now, so let's, let's talk about householding. So we built a concept called household, where again, just like relationship groups, you can add members. If I go into John Glavy's record, you can see he's part of the John Glavy household. I'll click right back to it. And it, you can track information at the household level. This is just a straight account. Here's the members. Now, the, the disadvantage here, we don't have the roll-up. I can't see on screen all the financial accounts, all the bank accounts. Um, all the activities for the individuals rolling up. I can create activities for the household itself, but if I wanted to see the individual activities, I'd either A, have to go into John's account and look at his activities, or build a report. Um, so now, all of a sudden, we can re um, build reports using households. Um, for example, we just built one report here called Holdings. So I just click on this, and it's going to bring up another screen where it's showing all of John's, John's accounts and a total and Kathy's accounts in a total. So now you can see a total. And you can build reports like this for anything in the household, including activities and notes and uh, bank accounts and insurance. Um, this is just an example. So my personal preference, I kind of lean towards using the householding. It's much more flexible, um, especially when it comes to reporting. Uh, but if you want to see something on screen, uh, relationship groups is pretty good too. Again, we support both. We have some clients that use both, other clients that use one over the other. All right, thank you very much.